Hey, we're the Omnia Gamers. I'm Ryan. And I'm Aaron, and we're here doing a review of Left 4 Dead 2. Right, first thing we're going to talk about is the view distance. What do you think about it, Aaron? Well, I think the viewing distance of this game actually is really good. As you can see here, you see pretty far into the distance, which I've noticed in some other games you don't really get quite a good viewing distance as you do in this game. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Comparing it to other games, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10, you know, because I think that Valve have done really good on this and giving us a really good viewing distance, which is going to be really good, you know, for seeing oncoming mobs of zombies and also that giant dinosaur following them. <laughs> Alright, um. So I think we need to move on to the graphics of this game. So you can see here, the graphics are alright. Yeah, I like it, but if I compared it to something like uh, Call of Duty, the graphics are way better. In I call it shooting Modern Warfare 3. Especially the guns. I mean, this gun I'm holding right now looks pretty shit. Yeah, I, I prefer the graphics in Left 4 Dead 1, because this in Left 4 Dead 2, the graphics look more cartoony in this one, I think. They do. I think, especially the tank. Yeah. You can see a visible uh, he's more, difference. He's more flubber than muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I'm a big flubber tank. Uh, and then the one in Left 4 Dead 1 is just like, oh, a big muscly steroid tank. Yeah, I think if they made a Left 4 Dead 3, I think they should have the graphics of Left 4 Dead 1 and keep the gameplay of Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, but and they can learn from the mistakes they made in Left 4 Dead 2. I don't think all hope is gone. Yeah, if they definitely, if they could improve the graphic, uh, the same kind of graphics, you know what I mean, but like... Yeah. I mean, some of the textures it, have got yeah. better, it's just the overall graphics, we don't like them, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to give it 4 out of 10. Oh, so we agreed on something. Yeah. So sound quality, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. First aid here. Pretty good, uh... Hey, honey. Hey! See, as you can see yeah, here, yeah. the sound quality, I think it's decent. I mean, yeah, I think... gun noises, you can hear this. It's just not very good compared to other games such as Call of Duty. Yeah, I, I, I like Call of Duty gun sounds in Halo. Yeah, they've got some pretty good, like the sni sniping sound and stuff like that. Sniping sound in there. Halo sick. Yeah, but overall, I f <laughs> overall I think the sounds they put in the game do work well with the game. But I think the overall sound quality could be greatly improved. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I'm going to agree with you there, Ryan. Good. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Alright, so what, what, what should we talk about now? I think we should just now run through the level. This is the Dead Center campaign. So as soon as we open this door, we're going to be meet, uh, great, greeted by hopefully one zombie. Oh god! Where did they all come from? <laughs> Oh, when we played through the cell here, there was just one little zombie in the corner. It's like, oh, I'm just minding my own business. Reloading. Death and user. Just general zombie. No need general zombies, no need to be scared of these. Yes, my next bat, and they can kill you if I hit. It's like, oh, we're on easy mode. They do like one damage. Then as soon as you go to expert mode, it'll like hit you once. You lose a fifth of your health. Yeah. Reloading. That's another thing I like about Left 4 Dead, you know, diff different difficulty modes. Yeah, yeah, like the difficulty when it says... Oh, is that a boomer? Oh, it's a charger. Charger, you just commit suicide. Oh, I like... Chargers are really good on this level. There's yeah, this is uh, one of our tips. Mm -hmm. um, if you're on Versus, let me come show you. Get out the way, Scorpion. If you're on Versus mode and you're a charger, wait here for the one of the survivors to come past. As soon as they do, wow. charge them off the level, yeah. It's a very easy way, you know, just to win really early. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, uh, the thing I like about the difficulty on this game is when it actually says expert, Ooh, it, it actually is expert. You need, like, four good players to complete it. Yeah, you can't do it on your own just with computers. Computers are shit. Oh, I can't kill a spitter. Yeah, and a good idea, like Aaron was doing then, is not to stand in the spitter goo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be one of our top tips for this game. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing I would say about the gameplay is the variety of different types of zombies we get. As you can see, there's a jockey and a hunter. <laughs> Those guys 
And this is a great improvement from Left 0 1, where we, I think we only had three special infected, which was yeah. the Boomer, the um, Hunter, and Smoker. And now we've got more of a variety, it just makes the game a lot more fun and challenging. Got in, got in. Don't kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Ooh, Boomer Bar. Alright, so now you can trust Scorpion to take the fire here. Go on, Scorpion. Hey, <laughs> Trust in you. Ellis. Pleasure to meet you, Rochelle. I think we could take this time to talk about the Left 4 Dead. Or we could talk about this elevator. Yeah, I love this elevator. As you see, we this have is handles. square and there's a handle. Oh god, the lights have just gone off. And now we're being smoked to death. I don't like this. Now I'm shooting Flash from Guns N' Roses. Uh, anyway. I don't know how the hell you got them other characters. But... <laughs> We're now going to open the door and be faced with... We could do a video <laughs> and show how people have to get the skins. We could. So now we've got a semi-automatic... Uh, sh not no, not semi-automatic shotgun. What am I thinking? we just got a machine gun. That's all you need to know. <laughs> this is perfect for taking on just mobs and zombies like this. But yeah. if you're going against a tank or anything like that, we would strongly recommend using a grenade launcher if you have one available. Yeah, when I was doing survival, uh, you can normally kill a tank in three, three to four shots with a grenade launcher, depending on if they're on fire or not. As Ryan was saying, if you are on survival and you're playing like online or with a friend, make sure one of you has a sniper rifle and the other one has a grenade launcher. The sniper rifle is perfect for taking out special infected such as the smoker. And the grenade launcher is good for uh, the tank, which will come and bash your brains in. And we managed to get 10 minutes on that level. Yeah. Got gold. And also, uh, you want a pump act shotgun for uh, a pump action shotgun for a whip for the witch. Yeah, get close to them, turn your flashlight off, and get a headshot. Yeah. Oh god. See, this is where this uh, machine gun works. Or you could. You might w um, keep your flashlight on, walk up to them, and shoot them in the body, and they one hit you. <laughs> He's like, one oh, shot, hello there, little pretty witch. I want to give you a hug. Man, we got so as you can see, we just played through the one level Left 4 Dead, hopefully giving you an idea of what it's like. It is a really fun, enjoyable game. Yeah, we're going to give it an overall rating now. Overall, we work out the average of both our scores by adding them together, then dividing them, you know. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do basic maths. So, my overall score is a 6, and Ryan's is... A six. So if we plus six, six plus six. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve divided by two is six. Oh, so for Left 4 Dead, I think we can give it a strong six out of ten. Yep. Would you agree with that? I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So will we recommend that you buy this game? Uh, yeah. I think it is a good game to play now and then. I wouldn't say it's one of my best games, but I I think it's a worthy game to buy. I find it really enjoyable. If I'm like, you know, bored and nothing else to do, yeah, yeah. I can always count on Left 4 Dead, you know, to cure that boredom. But the thing about Left 4 Dead is, it's not a game you can play for hours and hours and get addicted to, because there's no, like, proper missions in it. No. It's more, you know, just free play, just go get to the safe house. Survival is a bit, is one of them games that kind of has a bit more of an objective to it. Yeah. Trying to be. You can get time. really addicted to survival. Me yeah. and Ryan have spent hours mm -hmm. over Xbox Live. Trying to, you know, get gold. Well, we got tech, we got gold on three levels, didn't we? Yep, that's how dedicated we are. <laughs> we didn't use any glitches at all. No, no glitches. I'm really proud of us. Especially that one, you know, where you slow down the frame rate. Yeah, yeah we definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's all for, for today from the Omnia Gamers. Yep. So, See you next time. Yeah, this is... It's been fun. We're out. See ya, bros.